we do. And in reality, uh, conniving with the government behind the scenes for the implementation of these programs. Now, we have had magnificent struggles uh, by sections of the working class uh, uh, in, 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 uh, in many parts of the world, indeed, not just uh, Europe. But you saw heroic battles by the Greek working class. The Portuguese have uh, mobilized the youth in Spain. You'll have seen the recent um, new and novel methods of struggle with the youth encampments in opposition to mass unemployment. We've had in Wisconsin the, 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 the magnificent uh, movement there. We've had, of course, more broadly, the magnificent Arab uh, uh, revolution. But really, all of them without exception throw up the key question, what program and what strategy could take those movements forward to success? which means to a transformation of the situation and the replacement of the current regimes and neoliberalism by a new society. And that, of course, is, is the key need for the type of discussions we've had here today and that we have had more generally. What program to transform the situation economically and what strategy to take the working class uh, forward in order to, uh, to create a, a, new, uh, uh, a, a new society? Now, of course, it is, it, it, it's, it's been very difficult to watch in the European experience with this crisis for the last three years to see the, the, that country by country the, the, the financial markets and the vampire banks and the sharks that infest the financial markets have been able to divide the, the working class country by country without a cohesive leadership. Of course, they are very cohesive in many ways in their strategy of, uh, in, uh, of insisting that the working class must pay and society must pay to try to maintain their system, their profits, and, uh, and uh, uh, so forth. But, uh, but, and there is a huge aspiration for struggle and for solidarity. I was a member of the European Parliament from 2007 up until the uh, election uh, to the National Parliament when then I uh, had to leave the European Parliament to take the seat in the National Parliament and travelled and spoke at a lot of workers' meetings. I spoke at one meeting, maybe just this time last year, in Athens of thousands of workers and putting forward some of the most simple, basic ideas of solidarity, of standing together I I in opposition to the markets, that the working class must not pay, that we need an alternative. Just a massive response of support. Uh, uh, um, among the, uh, the workers, which would be similar in many different countries. And it is a, a tragedy, and it is the key vacuum in our time, if you like, that the leadership to take that willingness to fight is not there at the moment, and it's what really we are about, uh, isn't it, today, and what we are generally about in attempting to construct new parties of the working class. Of course, we have to reclaim the trade union leadership as well, and that's true of, obviously of Canada, the United States, everywhere else, where the union leadership has uh, utterly abandoned the, the field of uh, struggle, utterly subverted what the trade union movement was founded by the sacrifice of men and women who made enormous sacrifices to, to create the, the, the uh, movement and has become bureaucratized and the question of the regeneration and the reclaiming of the unions by their membership and the reimposition of democratic ownership of their, their, uh, um, their own organizations is now uh, one of the key issues as well that, uh, that we face. Now, of course, how far back the left has been thrown, for example, in Europe, is a major factor in that there is no leadership uh, a, 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 at the uh, present time that is capable or has the social weight at the, uh, the, the, uh, the moment. And therefore, what is posed for us is the construction of new mass parties of the working class, and that is an urgent necessity. The key question, of course, is how to get there. And, uh, 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 and it, it is one of the major tasks one of the key critical tasks that confront socialists and the left 
at the present time and to which we have to give serious attention and uh, turn our, uh, our energies um, uh, to. And, and indeed, today, that's the, 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 a step, if you like, in that direction as well here in, in Toronto. Now, in Ireland, we took an initiative uh, late last year, which was under discussion for quite uh, some time, when the Socialist Party, another uh, left party, the People Before Profit, and another left organisation in, in uh, confined to one or two constituencies or ridings, I think you call them in Canada, um, launched the United Left Alliance. And we launched it formally in November, uh, coincidental almost with the IMF and the EU coming in to take uh, control based on an agreed program, which was, uh, it's a very strong program, of uh, the independence of the left, no support for capitalist uh, coalitions, which has been a major problem in, in Ireland with the Labour Party, always propping up capitalist uh, parties in government and then obviously uh, discrediting itself uh, and uh, discrediting the idea of, of uh, a left, uh, uh, unremitting fight against the, the cuts, public ownership of the banks, public uh, accountability, etc. Many of the ideas, in fact, that came forward uh, here today as well. But the programme of the United Left Alliance clearly stated that on the basis of capitalism in crisis, that there is no solution on the basis of this crisis-ridden system to the problems that it uh, causes. So no solution on the basis of the capitalist market and the need for a left and a socialist uh, uh, alternative. Now we contested 20 constituencies in the, uh, in, in the general election to the Irish uh, Parliament and uh, between the different groups the Alliance won five uh, seats in the Parliament. Now this is the first time in the history of the Irish state since the 1920s, that you have a principled left grouping in the Irish Parliament. And it is therefore the, potentially the beginning of a very important uh, development. Now, I was in the Irish Parliament myself from 1997. I did two terms until 2007, when I nar narrowly lost the, the seat in 2007. But I was the only left-wing member and, and member of the Socialist Party there, and where are we? We were able to make you know, some important steps on, on different... It, it was qualitatively different now, it is, to have a, a, a group of five members of the Parliament. Now, in the general election on the 25th of February, the Sinn Féin, which is, you, you are familiar with the Nationalist Party, also made important gains with 14 seats putting forward quite a left face, opposition to the cuts, to the IMF, EU deal, uh, uh, etc., but, uh, and uh, is continuing that line in the opposition in the Parliament. But one of the responsibilities that we have is to expose the political limitations of that uh, par party in an honest uh, way, in a skillful way, in the sense that while they are opposing cuts very strongly in the south, they are part of a power-sharing administration in the north of Ireland, which is actually implementing a programme of savage cuts dictated by the Liberal and Tory government uh, from London. And we say uh, that you have to have honesty and consistency, and you cannot be honestly opposing cuts in the Republic of Ireland and your party members implementing them in the, in the north. It's a fundamental weakness there. The other key issue we have with Sinn Féin is their preparedness to go into a capitalist coalition governments if the, the numbers turned out right in a parliamentary sense, which always, always without exception of course, will result in a massive betrayal of the people that would vote for a party posing itself as an opposition, anti-establishment, etc. But once they go into a capitalist government, the only way you would be accepted in there is if you are prepared, essentially, to do the dirty, the, the dirty work. So they would be, that, that, that would be an ongoing debate within Irish politics over the next uh, period of time. Now, in the election, uh, comrades, it, it was truly a, a, an astounding uh, election, uh, and, but it is one that you are, I think, you have a little bit of experience in, in Canada, perhaps even earlier than us, when at one stage the, uh, was it the Tories? got wiped out in, uh, in, um, in a uh, federal election here. 
the main capitalist party, which since 1932 has been in power for the longest uh, time.